Hey guys, Buffy Game Bad today, bringing our video, and today we are covering in our weapon conversion series. We're converting the Attack M, the marksman version of the SCAR, into the Mark 20 SSR or the Sniper Support Rifle. So, this is the long barrel designated marksman rifle or DMR version of the SCAR platform. So, we'll go ahead and convert this weapon. I'll show off the build, the recoil control, and the firing range, as well as um, some live gameplay here from in game. So, we won't be going against boss today. I have some good gameplay that I was able This is one of the weapons that I've been playing with a little bit. So I have some gameplay. I'll show you. This thing, it can actually serve a few different roles. So we'll go ahead and jump into it here. We'll build the weapon, and then we'll jump into that gameplay at the end um, and just see how viable this thing is. Finally, we have a good version of this rifle that fills that designated marksman rifle role. And I try to do these conversions for this one, the Mark 20 SSR, back on Modern Warfare 2019. And because you didn't have the platform system there, it was still really just handled like a scar at longer ranges. It was viable in the early war zone, but definitely uh, at the end of the, the war zone's life cycle or even halfway through, it just was not viable whatsoever. So here, this one, at least, this just handles really, really well. It's a great weapon here. I'm excited to see how this thing works in war zone. But here in multiplayer, it's a straight up beast with a one shot headshot at medium ranges and two shot kill at mostly all ranges except extreme long ranges is going to be a three so let's go ahead and we'll back out here's the final design for our fn mark 20 ssr sniper support rifle you can see they're just a beautiful weapon the scar platform is one of my favorites here in games so we'll go ahead and back out and we'll go to the actual build itself so we'll back out select now again here you're going to want the tech m so if we look at the scar platform here you're going to start with the Tech 56 or the Scar Light, the Mark 16. And for this one, as you progress that up, you're going to go ahead and unlock the Scar Heavy at, ele at uh, level 11. And then keep leveling that one up. And once you finish um, leveling up the, the Scar Light or the Tech 556, you will then unlock at level 20. You'll unlock the Tech M or what is the Mark 20 SSR. Now, to convert it into a proper Mark 20 SSR, I would recommend getting through all the attachments on it, obviously. We'll select this thing. Now, for the gunsmith here, there's a few key um, attachments we'll go through. The stock is actually the correct stock at base. You could probably go with the skeleton, skeletonized one if you really wanted to, but there's no purpose. If you're filling a designated marksman rifle role, um, the pros and cons of this are not correct. So you really um, want the one that it comes with at base because you get... Um, that recoil control and we stimulate everything with this stock built in. So that's a good thing about the weapon platform is we have a lot of the attachments that we would want already applied to this so we can save on attachment slots. So that butt stock is the right butt stock for the Mark 20 SSR. We'll keep that. Next up for the optic, we're going to go ahead and want obviously a high powered optic here. So this, uh, this, the S SZ heat source 800 is actually a pretty fun optic. Um, I've used it a little bit, but it, it definitely, you do get some glare in some situations. So, um, use it in, I would be careful where you use it. These other dual magnification ones are really, really nice. Um, however, we are going to run with the DXS, uh, Coriolis, uh, V4, crazy names for these, these attachments here, but this is going to give us a nine times zoom. Again, it's also a big fat scope. It looks just great on this Mark 20. Cons here are medium sniper glint, aim down sight speed, and aim walking movement speed. So we'll select that. You can see just a big, big scope on this. Very fitting for what you would see on a Mark 20. Um, next up for the laser, we'll skip that. Now that the other key attachment here is the barrel length. The barrel length of the Mark 20 SSR is going to be 20 inches. So at base, it looks like it's probably around 16 or 8, probably 18-ish. So we'll go ahead. We want the 20.5 inch in real life. The barrel length for the Mark 20 is 20 inches. So we'll go ahead and select that. The pros here are going to be the damage at range, which is key for this build, hit player accuracy, and bullet velocity. The cons here are ADS speed and hip recoil control, but we're not really hip firing this thing, so it doesn't matter there. Go ahead and slip that 20-inch barrel. Now, for the muzzle attachment, obviously, if you're going long, long ranges, you would want one of these suppressors that's going to give you that damage at range boost. I think pretty, pretty much this wrapped suppressor here, the Talon 5, is probably one of your best bets. You also have... The uh, Zulu 60 is a very good one. However, um, for this one, at base, this weapon in real life will come with a a uh, prawn flat flash suppressor, so you can easily attach a uh, suppressor on there. However, I'm going to go and opt with the TY LR8. This is just going to help us with that horizontal recoil. You can also go with any of these other ones for vertical and horizontal for the longer ranges as well. I mean, really, any of these 
works very well. Just got to keep in mind, play with it and see how it kicks and which one works best for you. And again, you can always go with a suppressor for that extra damage at range. But quick follow-up shots, you want something that you can easily control and hit those quicker follow-up shots because this is only semi-automatic. Now, under barrel attachment, we're going to want either one of the bipods. So you have three bipod options here for the Mark 20. These would be uh, very fitting for this rifle in real life. We would typically see this with a bipod. However, um, the bipod grip is also a very good option and again, very fitting for the SCAR platform. So I personally am going to be running the bipod grip. Um, however, you can really go with any of these um, any of these bipods as well. It would work really well. But you do unlock the bipod grip by leveling up the SCAR, so this is a good option for you. So you get the bipod mount, recoil steadiness, and the aim down sight speed is going to be the con there. So we'll select that. And now the final attachment here is going to be the magazine. Now this is personal preference, but I'm going to select a 15 round magazine. At base, you get a 10 round magazine of that 6.5 Creedmoor. However, 15 seems to be a better option here just for the follow-up shots. You go through that 10 round magazine pretty quickly, but if you wanted to save on an attachment, you could definitely do something else. I think the 20 round is a little bit too too much for this, especially with, with the, uh, the weight potentially. But again, 6.5 Creedmoor is a... Uh, very good round i think 15 rounds here it typically worked good for me plus i think the they did the uh 20 rounder looks more like a 30 rounder but regardless we'll go with the 15 round that's gonna bump up our magazine capacity from 10 to 15 the cons are the movement speed aim down sight speed reload quickness and sprint to fire so that's our final design there for customization you can obviously go with what i've used on my other scar i think we did it with the scar light the mark 16 build is that clay pattern that look obviously looks very suiting for the scar platform however i like just a little bit of a uh, dirtier more worn look for this particular rifle so i'm going to go with the hidden snake this one um you'll see it in game in the gameplay it just looks again it looks like you have that desert camo on there but it's just really worn and torn so it looks really good on this weapon especially for the first person perspective so this is our uh mark 20 SSR now for those of you asking how to inspect I get a lot of questions on these each video this is definitely bugged it's not supposed to be like this but if you're on console you'll go to the charm and then hover over none pull your left stick towards you so you're going to pull it down towards you don't push it in yet but pull that left stick towards you and then push it down and it'll bring you to this screen here where you can inspect it so we'll hide the UI you can see here our mark 20 SSR, so just a really nice weapon. We have uh, ambidextrous fire controls, the ejection port there on the right hand side. We have the uh, classic SCAR charging handle there on the left hand side, uh, bolt release, magazine release there on the left hand side as well. Um, you can see we have that extended uh, Midwest Industries M lock type handguard there, same as we saw on some of the blueprints. Um, I believe it was the Trader, is what it was in Modern Warfare 2019. So we get a very similar. Um, extended Midwest Industries M lock type handguard, really without, uh, uh, but with Picatinny's on there. So it's not quite an M lock, it's, but it is that same extended handguard just with uh, larger pick rails on there as well. So, really nice weapon. You can see full length Picatinny rails on the top of the weapon as well, full length up until we have the front iron sight, which is where the gas adjustment is. So that's where there's that break. We have the front sight flipped down. And then that extender there, that handguard extension, um, again, has w more uh, rails there. Those are, are just larger rails. It almost looks like a weaver mount, but I suppose it's just different length Picatinny's. We have rail covers on the left and right-hand side there because we didn't use a laser, or at least they're on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, we don't have rail covers. Great-looking weapon there. Again, this is firing 65 millimeter Creedmoor, which is really cool. So let's go ahead now. We'll jump out and just take this thing into the firing range quickly and... Uh, take a look at how it handles so and then we'll jump right into the gameplay so here it is the mark 20 ssr firing 6.5 millimeter creedmoor again just a beautiful weapon i love the scar platform so you're stuck in single fire you cannot do anything else there but it's going to be pretty much a two shot kill uh no matter what the range in game obviously the damage models on these bots are not correct but it'll be a two shot kill almost at any range one shot up close to medium range headshot anything like 10 to uh maybe even 20 meters like this would easily be a one shot headshot kill and then two shot at any other range and then long long ranges you'll see in the gameplay is going to be maybe maybe three shots now a tip with the bipods you can't just aim down sight and mount them you can see they're circle to mount so you you need to 
actually still mount the bipods, which is a nice addition to this game. I really like that. But here in the gun range is going to be a two-shot kill no matter what. That's the Mark 20 SSR. Again, really easy to control recoil just because it is semi-auto, so you can't really go crazy with this thing. Longer ranges, you're going to need to just kind of take your time and uh, make sure you're hitting your follow-up shots. But because it is semi-automatic, you should be able to get back on target pretty easily there. So that's the Mark 20 SSR. Now, jump into the gameplay with this thing. You'll see me running this. Um, I, I'll maybe include some of the gameplay of it when I was running it on Twitch, and, and that was before I leveled it up fully, and I had to run it more as like a... Couldn't run it as the SSR build, type build. You had to run it almost as as a uh, as like a battle rifle almost. So we were running it kind of in the role of like the, you would with the Scar Heavy until you unlock the right attachments. When you unlock the right attachments, um, you can use it in the role of the DMR or the what it's supposed to be is a sniper support rifle. So um, it's just a great weapon. You'll see some gameplay clips here on Invasion. Just mounting this thing up. I think I went like total. It was like... Uh, I don't know what the what the KD was. I, I was at the end. I was like 28 or 20, 23. You know, I think is what it ended up being. Um, and just using this thing, really engaging. Just a few bots, I think, but mainly players were just coming from the base. I got on one of the invasion maps. I got on this tower in the back of the map and was pretty wide open. So I could have easily been counter sniped, but for some reason, no one chose to do it. Maybe it was because the medium sniper glint on this optic wasn't really giving me away heavily. But you'll see me engaging people way back, um, kind of near their spawn also uh, with this thing. So the range is is pretty incredible. Again, you need to adjust for a bullet drop, which is all, also good. It takes a little bit of skill to use. However, um, it is going to be a two-shot kill at pretty much any range. One shot to the head within probably 20 to 30 meters, depending. Um, and then long, long ranges, you'll see some of them. It's going to be a three-shot kill at some of the engagement ranges that I do. But you're going to get more damage there for headshots. So it's a, it's a great weapon when you can actually fill it with that SSR DMR type role. Now, again, this is a weapon that I, I did in Modern Warfare 2019 as a conversion. I did it and included it in my best DMR builds video for the Warzone videos. Best DMRs. This was on that list as well. And I think um, placement wise, this ended up being third on that list um, in Modern Warfare 2019. And that's because you it really wasn't a Mark 20 SSR. It was just more of a mark 20 or a mark 17 disguised as a mark 20 so here they actually did the platform so it allows them to adjust the stats which is really smart um the other thing here that's pretty cool is that it's firing 6.5 creedmoor instead of 7.62 by 51 millimeter now in real life um the mark 20 is compatible with both so is basically the entire scar platform um so 6.5 creedmoor is uh compatible with a mark 20 and again that it'll take the 6.5 creedmoor and the 7.62 by 51 nato as well but here in game we get the, the uh, 6.5 creedmoor which is a nice addition uh switches it up a little bit from what we would have expected with a 7.62 especially because we do see that on things like the ebr and some of the other rifles as well at the psg1 so nice design there again this is a really great weapon um now for real life information here this is in fact a uh, dmr or a sniper support rifle so it was developed by S fn herstel out of out of belgium so they obviously responsible for things like the the fn scar the f uh, 2000 the fn p90 so a lot of great weapons coming out of there um so the scar platform is just we went into this in the in the scar light video so you guys can go ahead and check that out so the scar um, Special Operation Forces Combat Assault Rifle. So the family was adopted um, originally in early 2000s, and eventually the Scar Light was dropped. The Mark 17 of the Scar Heavy um, was that contract was kept, and it was was in, in still formally adopted. Conversion kits were still purchased for the Scar Light when it was needed, and then eventually the Mark 20 or the Scar um, SSR ended up replacing what was at the time filling this role was the mark 12 spr which we covered here on the channel for our conversion series the other day so the mark 20 ended up coming in and replacing that role as of the mark 12 spr now the mark 20 ssr um has been i believe this came into this one particularly was developed in uh 2011 i want to say i don't have that information off the top of my head so forgive me but it was adopted i want to say around 2011 2012 now it's seen the scar platform in general has seen uh co introduction into conflicts 
since 2009 when the SCAR platform was put into service. If we get into some information regarding the Mark 20, the mass overall for the Mark 20 is going to be 10.7 pounds or 4.8 kilograms. The length overall um, from the back of the buttstock all the way to the end of the barrel is going to be 40.5 inches or 1,029 millimeters. Barrel length we already discussed is 20 inches flat. So here in game it's 20.5 for some reason, but 20 inches flat or 508 millimeters is the barrel length in real life. And the cartridge, like we said, is compatible with the 762 by 51 millimeter NATO, same as the Scar Heavier, the Mark 17. And the Mark 20 is also compatible with the 6.5 Creedmoor, which is what it's firing here in game, which is nice to see. The action for this weapon is a gas operated short stroke piston, rotating bolt. The rate of fire is going to be uh, whatever it is in semi auto, however fast you can pull the trigger. So that's nice to see again that you can't go full auto with this. I like that. The weapons serve a purpose. I was it's kind of surprised they didn't give us a um, bullet or a different type of conversion to switch this into semi-auto in 29 Modern Warfare 2019 to turn it into a proper uh, DMR version. But here we have it here. So you're in semi-auto. So the rate of fire is pretty much as fast as you want it to be. Is you can pull the trigger. Muzzle velocity um, is going to come in a little bit more or around the same as the scar h at 2342 feet per second or 714 meters per second with that m80 round the effective firing range for the mark 20 is going to come in around 300 or uh, that, that's incorrect i'm sorry i don't know what it is off the top of my head for the the mark 20 it's going to be longer than the um and the mark 17 obviously because it does have that longer longer barrel so the effective firing range should be out to around uh 700 to 1200 meters i i would suspect with this thing um i don't have the information from fn herstal on their website in front of me unfortunately but it does would stretch longer than the scar heavy just because it does have that extended barrel on there so um it should go well over well over the uh, 800 meter mark now the feed system is going to be that box magazine so the uh, ssr will take a 20 round 20 round box mag obviously compatible with here in game 10 15 and 20 and the sights are going to be those full length picatinny with the iron sights and obviously that picatinny rail allows for optical mounting so that's the mark 20 ssr again just a really really nice weapon and it did indeed it did uh replace the mark 12 spr which was filling that role kind of as a as an intermediary round between the uh between the sr 25 and the m4 for uh for a time period now the effective firing range i i got it off the fn website here the effective firing range for the mark 20 ssr is approximately 1000 uh meters or 1093 yards for a point target so um and then the max uh, max effective range there's no information on that one but the if effective firing range is going to be 1000 meters and you can definitely stretch it over that in real life just because of the barrel length but accurately you're going to be around a thousand meters so semi-automatic um just a great weapon overall here again scar platform taking 762 by 51 nato or the 6.5 creedmoor i was really happy to see this in game and they really nailed the, the design for this there's really not a lot off with this weapon they got the extended handguard right full light continues it just looks great with the scope and everything like that so i'm really happy to see the mark 20 ssr here in game and again to be able to have a, a proper mark 20 ssr this time around uh and have it fill the role of the marksman rifle is really nice to see so let me know your thoughts down below what you think of the mark 20 ssr or in the scar platform in general have you used it yet um with the mark 20 what specifically are you guys running again it's a two shot kill and i've had a lot of fun games with this thing so let me know what you guys think down below and if you enjoy the content, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Helps out smaller channels like myself. Keep growing here with the weapon conversion videos and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 content. Also have links to my social media and all that information down below for Twitter, Instagram, Discord. We have a link down below. We have a great community there. As well as the Twitch, which I'll be doing live streams over there. As well as on YouTube. Um, and we're looking forward to Warzone 2 and DMZ next week. So I'll be covering that and probably running this in there. For all you guys to see how it how it works but let me know your thoughts down below mark 20 ssr what's your favorite build what are you enjoying so far leave me recommendations for any weapon conversions that you would like to see in the future until next time this is buffering gaming with the fn mark 20 ssr or the sniper support rifle until next time buffer gaming out